What's happening guys? We're on our way to go get a few last minute bits and pieces from City Guns. They've got free parking here, so that's pretty ideal in busy town. Um, yeah, it's super convenient for us. Uh, quickly just dash out and go get the last minute essentials that we need for this trip. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. lay down on here, use it, use it as a shooting match. Your dope books, all of your extra equipment goes in the front here. A couple extra rounds. Sure thing. Yeah, Absolutely. very nice. So yeah. these are your options, man. I think we're gonna, we're gonna go with this option. Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. All yours. So I have to say I was a little bit skeptical when I first got handed this Vector Optics scope. Obviously it was at a price point that was significantly lower than its competitors, but it seemed to have all the features on paper and it even came with its own 34mm Picatinny scope rings. Got it mounted up onto the scope, it took me about four shots to get it zeroed. It really does help with the MRAD reticle. Just a couple clicks, knew exactly where it was at and it was firing exactly where it should be. Getting it out into the field, I have to say I'm absolutely blown away by the quality of the scope and just its functionality and usability. It is a little bit heavier, but I mean I wasn't looking to get a light scope and taking my competition rifle out into the field. I have to say that Vector Optics is definitely going to become one of my go-to brands. If you guys are interested in getting yourself a Vector Optics scope or one of the accessories, we have got you guys a 10% discount for their website. Guys, we are on route for this hunting trip. Uh, the time is now 6 o'clock uh, and we're actually passing Artebius Kral, right? Yeah. Two hours out of Cape Town. Pretty we're not hunting there. I think we've still got another six hours to go. So, yeah, not great being in the Western Cape, but if you are looking for an opportunity that's nice and close to Cape Town, check out Artebius Kral. Uh, awesome little hunting spot two hours out of Cape Town and we'll definitely be doing a hunt there soon. Today job sit sideways on the slips with a doctor. If time flies like a bird, shit may drop. She remind me of Baywatch. I was on a chase for the tail like Aesop. And now we on a chase at a place all day spot. I heard I got a lead to go to work, but I may not. Believe me, I don't mean to be a meanie. That bikini got me losing my life. Time for another car review. Uh, last time you saw me, it was with that Aval. I think it was the H6 or H8. Uh, we now in the Audi A4. Uh, this is the all road, uh, Quattro 4x4. So I don't think we're going to get stuck in this one, but actually surprised me check the road here. Yeah, a nice gravel road and it's handling absolutely fine. Um, but yeah, hopefully we get to put it in a little bit more of an off-road situation and see if this little city slicker car will be able to handle a proper boys hunting trip. Boys are getting ready to zero in. Yeah. Andrew, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> 
getting to the Hooksfontein farm, we were a bit unsure what the, the game was going to be like because just before we got there, a couple of weeks before we got there, there was this massive plague of locusts that rocked through and basically ate up all of the grass on the farms. Getting out there, we weren't sure what we were going to see and what the hunting was going to be like. So we took the chance and it had made a complete recovery and was looking absolutely lush and amazing. Morning. morning Are you ready guys. for today? Yeah, beautiful morning. Uh, no wind, nice, nice warm weather. Um, we're just getting started, first day of the hunt. Um, very excited for the guys that came. Um, we're gonna get out, uh, it's about 7 a.m. Um, go out and see what uh, the fir first animals are. Um, normally the kudu are early morning, you'll see them walking out and um, we'll, we'll drive to the game camp and go to a couple sighting spots where we'll walk and stalk the animals and see see what we can find what the land provides us yeah um and then after that during the day we'll see look for impala uh see what see what we can find there's a lot of different species that that can present itself but it is in nature so it's a hunt and we're gonna try and get what we can today awesome For the guys that own hunting farms or have friends that own hunting farms and might be interested in having the catch cook crew come through and shoot a video and obviously get the exposure out of our 78,000 followers make sure that you send us an email and let us know about the opportunity and yeah we could be keen to come through and do a catch cook at your farm and give you some great exposure and some awesome video content to use Nice ridge, we had nice leverage looking down, spotted the sable, uh, one nice big bull and three young bulls just laying there, nice and calm. A little bit earlier we saw, uh, I spotted a female kudu got down, got the bipods out and I was getting ready for her and a massive male came out. Um, unfortunately, didn't give us an opportunity to take it. Um, started running, so we walked our way along the side of this kind of like cliff face and now we set up, hopefully they're gonna come, get flashed out this side and we'll get an opportunity. So we'll wait and we'll see what happens. But oh, it's beautiful out here. When that thing falls, I'm not coming to rescue you, eh? No, they're pretty safe, man. <laughs> So we've been testing out these prototype um, straps uh, because I wanted to really shoot with my precision rifle. It's a rifle that I practice with a lot. It's a rifle that I'm comfortable with. Even out to like 350 meters, I know exactly where the bullet's going. And I really wanted to carry the rifle and I just got told by so many people, you're never gonna be able to walk and stalk with that rifle. So yeah, I ended up making this little strap. I got the idea of a couple of the guys that do the biathlons. Um, and yeah, I try to manufacture one with quick releases so I can get it on and off nice and quickly. Um, also added a couple like features so I can have my Leatherman knives, uh, range finders, whatever it is on it. And I have to say it's been one of the biggest hits of the trip. Carried this rifle probably 9-10 kilometers, completely comfortable and yeah, it's, it's really worked well for me. Kept the rifle super, super stable on my back and if I needed to get it off to take a shot, so managed to do it relatively quickly. So yeah, guys, check out. These slings, hopefully we'll have them up on the Catch Cook website soon. Nice and moist and wet. So, 
Just part of the Eden. It must be just down here. I'm guessing about 300 meters. But we have this nice cliff here so we can walk and stalk and try and crawl, keep, see how close we can get. See if we can get a nice shot. There she, ah, there she lying. Oh, well done. It's a nice ball as well. Well done, mate. Yes. Yes, mate. Oh, it's a big animal, eh? That's how we're going to carry this thing out. Nice young bull with stunning meat. Very nice. Sure it's going to taste perfect. Looking forward to this. Yeah, tell us about the shot. Sure, couldn't have gotten a better position. It's about 280 meters out. Um, got a dead rest with the STG chassis. Um, yeah, I couldn't have asked for more. Perfect shot. Yeah, and it couldn't have gone more than 25, 30 meters. So, very, very happy, very stoked. How's it mean? I see, I see, Ben. I'm going to go home with you, Bob. I guess so. That's perfect. So it's quite late, dark, as you can see. Unfortunately, we're going to have to, we're going to have to leave um, the Yelanchia for the night. It's very cold, so the meat should be all good. Um, yeah, and we've rolled it now onto its stomach to prevent any scavengers maybe coming and all the guts are sitting on that side. So hopefully if anything does come, um, it's going to chow the guts. But yeah, we'll be back tomorrow morning. Animal should be nice and cold. Um, it's freezing out here at the moment. But yeah, we'll come get the meat tomorrow. So I wasn't expecting to yeah, need a torch when I took that shot at about uh, just before four o'clock. But it's pitch black now. And check out this feature on the Garmin watch. They've actually got a... A torch on the new watch common phoenix 7 um yeah pretty cool very useful very very useful So it's the next morning, um, we came back for the Elan, uh, it's got a, got a little bit stiff overnight, but now again the carrying sticks, um, so we can carry it to the Bucky, the Bucky is about 500 meters away, um, to the Kloof, the valley, um, so we'll see how we get it on the Bucky to save the meat. <laughs> Thank you. 
There we go. She's in. Well done, guys. So I got the bullets out of the airlines. Um, yeah, it's a 143 grain ELDX. Um, yeah, perfect expansion. Um, yeah, really impressed with this bullet. Okay, so guys, we've got some airlines heart. It's massive. This must weigh probably about 10 kgs. This little little tray yeah. and we've got some earland liver we like to try and use the whole animal all the parts so yeah we're gonna try cook something up for you yeah. Yeah. Okay, some manageable sizes unfortunately we didn't get any decent size cutting boards Splains. Okay, and now we've got the heart. This is just a little piece out of the Irland heart that we've got, and we're going to cut it into nice dices. And you can see that we've already cut up the livers into fine little slivers, and then we're going to spice them up now. And we've got some liver. We'll keep the heart on this side, and we will just add a little bit of salt. Add a little bit of pepper. Like that. A little bit more salt. It's the boss sensor. Is that enough? Yeah. I think a little pinch of six gun grill will also do nicely. That hot. Perfect. Now we've got the liver here as well. So we're also going to just add a Nice little bit of salt on there. Perfect. And a little bit of pepper. Nice. And of course, a little bit of six gun. Nice and nice. There we go. This is now ready for the braai. Liver and hot. Mm. What's 
your thoughts? It's actually really good. Mm. No way. Mm. 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 That's quite good, yeah? Mm. 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 So tender. Too good. Brett, all your nyama. Now, these are all your boxes. I don't know where they're going to go. There's a load of meat. <laughs> 